Let's bring on the chaser. Hello. Hello, Lorraine. I'm frightened. <laughs> It is so good to see you. It and really is here. great to see you. Congratulations. The show is such a huge success. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely. How did you get involved in the first place? I mean, how, do you, how did they find you? Um, they had been looking. It turns out they'd been looking for a, a, a woman chaser for a long time. Okay. Um, what happened was I was on um, Mastermind in the late 1980s. Right. And um, when you've been on Mastermind, when you've been on Mastermind, there's a sort of social club that you can join oh, called right. the Mastermind Club. I didn't know that. And, uh, yeah, um, it's... Uh... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> My chair not as comfy as the chair that um, you're used to. <laughs> we, yeah, I know. Um, and um, we used to have meetings once a month. Um, those of us who live in the Manchester area right. used to meet in a pub. And it was all kind of grinding to a halt a bit because mm. the same people were coming along. Sure. So one of our numbers said, look, is it OK if I bring some Mensa friends? So she brought along a friend called Margaret Howe, who told me what I'd never known before, that there's a high-level um, quizzing circuit in the UK. Ooh. Big quizzes once a month, which was completely news to me. Okay. Um, so she told me about the website and I discovered there was a quiz. Um, let's see, this is April 09. They told me that there was a quiz in the Liverpool area uh, beginning of May. Um, so I went along to that, um, did OK. Um, and one of the things that was happening there was that the BBC were auditioning for the second series of Are You an Egghead? Right. Um, so I got on that um, and uh, I was told very shortly after I was right, you're going to be on it. Um, you've got 10 days to get ready. I was like, OK, to fine, to yes, it, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start learning stuff that really top-level <laughs> quizzes know. Um, and um, I went on, uh, it was recorded at the end of May, um, and um, I actually ended up coming third in the right. whole series. Um, and shortly after that, um, I went along to the World Championships, the uh, British end. It's a big um, new world. I it is, a yes. Crazy world. Uh, and it turns out that I actually uh, ended up being the second highest scoring woman in the world. Wow. Uh, and uh, after I'd finished doing that, um, I stepped inside the bar for lunch. And uh, just inside the bar, I was uh, greeted by what I can only describe as the largest man I'd ever seen in my life. Hi, my name's Mark Labette. Ah. You beat me, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, and he, he said that he'd, he'd noticed me at the previous one. Right. Um, and uh, he also knew what had happened on Are You an AK. That had kind of put me on a map without my realising. So, so there's this, so, so that's how they knew? Yeah, oh, so he, he said to me, I've just recorded the uh, pilot series of a show called The Chase, and, and you should watch happened. it because it's going to be really good. And indeed it was. And, uh, now, look, we were going to have some fun with you to celebrate a thousand episodes. Mm. We're going to test your knowledge about some fun facts about the chase, though, right? OK. So you need to score five in 30 seconds. The chase is on. 30 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. Okay. What was the first, the year of the first episode of The Chase? 2009. How many series have there been so far? Uh, we have just finished making series 10. Yes. Uh, what is Bradley Walsh's middle name? I've never asked him. Don't know. OK. Uh, which chaser holds the record for the most right answers in a row? Ah, uh, It might be me, but it probably is. probably Paul or something like that. Sean. Oh, is it? What's the highest amount won in the chase? Oh, lots. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on the, the regular show, sort of in the 70,000, I should think. £90,000. How many international versions of the chase are there? Oh, uh, UK, uh, Germany. Russia, I think, is still going. Croatia, Serbia, possibly. And Australia. And the America. answer is nine. Oh, and Bradley Walsh's middle name is John. Oh, right. So when he annoys you, you can call him Bradley John Walsh. Be quiet, you can say <laughs> to him. And give him his full Sunday name. It is such a brilliant, brilliant series. I love it. And you guys make it. You really do. Thank you so, so That's much okay. for coming in. It's great to see you. And you're not frosty at all. You're gorgeous. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> right. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.